dogs in grocery stores. Some people say they don't mind. Others call this a sanitary issue. Yeah, a local woman called the ABC 7i team. She says that her neighborhood grocery store has become open season for pets. And she wants to see a change in this. Our consumer investigator, Samantha Chapman, is here with both sides of this, Sam. That's right. So the woman told me she has no problem with service animals. In fact, she says they should be allowed everywhere in the city of Chicago. But she says all dogs are welcome at her local Jewel Osco. And she says this has gotten out of hand. An ABC7 viewer sent us these photos. She says customers at her neighborhood Jewel are bringing their furry friends inside to shop. Have you seen dogs in here? All the time. I see them um, walking around. I also see them sometimes in the shopping carts. Jewel Osco tells the ABC7i team that the grocery chain, quote, post signage at our locations that state service dogs are allowed, but pets are not allowed in stores. But despite the signs, a few customers we spoke with say this jewel is known for welcoming all dogs. One person referred to it as the pet friendly jewel. And while some are completely okay with it, other shoppers tell us they don't like it. I'm a pet lover, absolutely love dogs. I just feel like it's unsanitary, especially around the produce section. As long as I get to pet them and have fun with them, the cute ones at least. But yeah, I don't really mind. I don't have a problem with the smaller dogs, but if they're a little too big sniffing at the food or licking the food, then I have an issue. I, I like dogs too, and um, have two of them myself, but I don't think they should be in the store buy food. An employee at this jewel told me off camera that they see roughly 20 to 30 dogs inside the store a day and thinks only a few of them are service animals. But Jewel tells the ABC 7i team its policy is, quote, compliant with federal, state, and local laws concerning service animals versus pets. In the city of Chicago, businesses and organizations that serve the public must allow people with disabilities to bring their service animals into all areas of the facility where customers are normally allowed to go. This law applies to all businesses open to the public, including restaurants, hotels, taxis and shuttles, grocery and department stores, hospitals and medical offices, theaters and health clubs. Service animals shouldn't be an issue, but just all dogs, I don't think so. The Chicago Department of Public Health tells the I team that shoppers are not allowed to bring non-service dogs into grocery stores, and businesses are allowed to ask if the pet is a service animal. Meanwhile, at this jewel, customers seem to be split on the issue. Some say they don't like the idea of non-service animals in the stores, but others? I think they should go get their bell pepper somewhere else then. Dogs should be everywhere. Dogs should be everywhere. As long as they're, you know, being held and they're, they're behaving well, why wouldn't you let a dog in a grocery store? Dogs should be everywhere. And according to the city of Chicago, people who have service animals can cannot be charged extra fees. They cannot be isolated from other customers and they cannot be treated less favorably than others. But the question today is, should stores crack down uh, if they know that non service animals are in the grocery store? I mean, it's people are really they're divided on this split on this. Oh my it gosh, sounds like I mean, too. I have a dog. He's a little nine pound Maltese Yorkie and it's one of those things as a pet owner I have to decide. Can I take him here? Should I take them there? So a lot of people split on the issue. Yeah, yeah, on a case-by-case -case basis. That's too, right. I guess. All right, Sam, appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.